we got a little bit of Broadway today. I'm excited about that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have you sit down and relax a little bit because if we want to tell you this really good piece of information, if you're looking for some inspiration on how to enjoy your outdoor space and style, this season, here's Ranson, Ranson and how he transformed his rooftop patio. It's class A. With properties becoming smaller and smaller, builders are building up rather than out, and backyard spaces are becoming non-existent. What's becoming popular are flat roofs and rooftop patios. I had a flat roof here in my townhouse, and I wanted to create an outdoor oasis. Let me show you what I did. When you first walk out onto this rooftop, you step onto this transitional space. To me, that was a perfect area for this serving island. Somewhere to put drinks out, to put food out. It's stainless steel, it's got drawers, it's got a wood top, and I cover it up with a cover when not in use so that it lasts a long time. When designing this space, I wanted to treat it just like I would when designing an interior room. Now we've got seating areas, transitional areas, architectural elements, such as this rock garden here. I did that not just for the aesthetics of it, but it gives me access to all the connections I have underneath. We've got wiring and all the connections are in the rock beds. If there's a problem, I can get to them. On either side, we've got planter boxes. I wanted some height in the architectural elements, and then the greenery definitely brings some warmth into the space. Back here, we've got a seating area that is a lounger. This lounger is a great space to chill and get some sun. Plenty of sun here on the rooftop. These planter boxes flank either side of the seating area. Now you'll notice these are made up of the same composite material I used on the decking. Keeps them a little different than the other planter boxes. I like that. And the decking is an important element. We first leveled this space out with pressure treated lumber, leveled it out on styrofoam pads, and it gave me the platform to put this decking on top. My choice was based on the fact that we've got sun beating down here all day long, and I didn't want something I'd have to maintain or change down the road. So I went with a composite decking. The only thing that you have to consider is it expands and contracts a little bit. Now, the boards are long. They come 20 feet long. If you leave them that long, they expand a lot. So I added some borders, cut them down to 10-foot lengths. It looks good, solves the problem for me, and there we go. Now, one more thing is sound. You really want to have music in an environment like this. I put these garden speakers in these beds because it surrounds you. It doesn't send the sound out to the neighbors. It surrounds it at this level, contains it here, really adds to the ambience of this space. The seating area is really important to me. I wanted components that are comfortable, modular, easy to transport up and down out of this rooftop, and I wanted them to look good. I wanted a modern look like I have here with these modular components. Each component joins together. It's an aluminum frame, it's lightweight. We've got outdoor cushions on top with outdoor foam inside, very durable. Now, the cushions on top would add a little punch of color, but you'll see that everything is predominantly white. I wanted that brightness and I wanted that freshness, and I wanted to tie in to the color of the rock gardens. The coffee table itself, it's modular, made of the same aluminum frame, and on top is a porcelain panel. This porcelain panel is a wonderful product. It's very durable, and it'll take any kind of abuse you give it. Now we've got some more small pieces around here, and this tall light, this light adds an element of height to the space. Not too many of those, just a few elements of height really balance the space out. And then this bean bag is a wonderful element sits one extremely comfortably. You can turn it around, sit and watch TV. Speaking of TVs, let me show you that TV. In order to make the most out of this rooftop patio, I wanted to include a television. To start, we had to get an outdoor TV. This is an outdoor television, and it withstands the elements, so I don't need to really cover it up throughout the season. To make it blend in, I decided to carry that rooftop material onto the wall and wrap it around the door that comes out to this roof space. You'll notice throughout the deck, there are no fasteners visible, no screw heads, nothing. That's because I used hidden fasteners. These hidden fasteners have a drill bit that sinks the screw in, countersinks it, and then you have these plugs that actually match the grain of the decking. And once you put them in place, they go from that to that in an instant. Now, out here, you don't want those elements of light shining right in your face. These fixtures here shine light up and down. The ones we have on the floor throughout the deck shine light outward so you can see where you're walking. And then we've got little spotlights inside the garden beds that highlight the architecture of those garden beds. It doesn't matter if your space is indoors or out. Plan well, make the most out of it so you can have a room you can really enjoy. Now, Marilyn, it's supposed to be a beautiful night tonight, so grab some friends, come on over, because I'm gonna start pouring the drinks.
You're coming over. You're invited. But you got to wait till summer comes around because yeah, it's it, still cold. It is still cold. I don't know wherever you live in Canada, but it is still it's cold, cold here right? in Toronto. We haven't gotten summer yet. First of all, well done. Thank you. Thanks. It's, it's, it's newfound space. Yeah. You know, just like when you finish a garage, it's like it's newfound yeah, space. Yeah, That's yeah. newfound space. I remember going through uh, your place a long time ago, and you were saying, I'm going to put a deck out here. And you had this vision, and now it's so beautiful. Yeah. And what a great view you That's have. the most gratifying part. You have this picture in your head, and then you make it happen. Yeah. And it's fun. It's so fun. are there challenges for rooftop stuff? Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, not every rooftop is meant for occupation. Because right. Because safety is a huge deal. If you sure. have no railings or a parapet wall like that, you know, you don't want your kids or yourself running around yeah. out there. It's not safe. And you have to check with your with the you know. You, you have city. to. You also have to make sure that it it, it meets code and right. and it supports weight in the sense yes. that you start putting a fireplace table or any yeah. of this stuff. Um, I would never put a hot tub up there. So you got to really think right. about weight. Yeah. And then you've got a rooftop membrane, so you have to put a decking on top of that. You have to make sure it doesn't damage that, because then if that leaks, then sure. you've got problems in your house. So you've there's, got problems there's in your concerns house, right to, on. To, you know, to think about. Well, i got to tell you, let's just say we have this palatial, fabulous place like you do. Yeah, the patio, for, but, no, but it looks fantastic. <laughs> so we want to talk about some new stuff, like the seating. Look at this. I, I want to talk about innovation. I got to say, I, gotta it's tell just you, like I would never leave. I couldn't get out of there. No cushion, just the lounger. It's called the surf. You know, and, yeah. and it, it's... Where's this from? This is made in Spain, and it's from ARD Outdoor, and it's designed by a Canadian designer, Kareem Rashid. Oh, neat. So it's a beautiful piece. It's got a drain in the middle, so it drains. But it's, what I love is the way they make these resins now. They're very durable. You can leave them around. Yeah. Um, they don't tarnish. They don't oxidize. They, they just look great. And they're lightweight, so they're yeah. really easy to move around. And it's engineered to fit your body. And, and this contour. is cool, too. And then this is another one. It's called the Riverside by Tonin. Looks and like a now, what I want Riverside. you to do is feel this one. Like, it's cushioned. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, it's a yeah. different material. That's cool. And, and it, it's very durable. So, again, it takes the beating from the sun, but it's also fire retardant. It's got a drain built in. Yeah. And, again, lightweight. And lightweight. really comfortable to sit in. So okay. sit in this because I'm going to show you this um, zebra table. <laughs> Have I a didn't seat. Want him to say have that. a seat and relax. I have a bad name. All right. <laughs> All right. Tell me, is it comfortable or not? Yep, I'm not getting Okay, up. good. All right. <laughs> Do the so rest of the I show. I want to show you this, this zebra table. So, why am I showing you this table? Because it's because, special. Yes, it yeah. is. And, and what I love is, is the, the engineering and the, and the furniture makes it multi use. So, oh, okay. this is from Jardin de Ville. And what I love oh, about this is you can, you can have dinner. Okay? Sure. And then you don't need a separate table. You can take this from a dinner table down to a coffee table, right? So you pull those up, right? And all you gotta do is move a couple of dinner chairs and put them aside or, or outdoor See, sitting chairs. So you'd use it more if you did it that way. You would, because yeah. it's not like you've got 5,000 square feet. No. That's a small space. So if yeah. I can make it convertible, it makes it usable. That is awesome. I right? love that. Okay. Let's go over here. Watch, so, watch me get one up. of my, here, hang on a second. Let me give you a hand. You okay? <laughs> I didn't realize it was that low. <laughs> so, right. one of the challenges, because I was out there last weekend with my friends, and it was so cold, uh -huh. okay? It was yeah. chilly. Yeah. And so you got blankets and everything. Actually, what I did, I have an outdoor TV, so I put uh, on YouTube. You put the fireplace uh, on. The fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> so, you That's can laugh, but you know what? It crackles, and it's got this glow, and it yeah. makes you feel warm, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, it did a little bit. So we sat out there, yes. but if I had a flame source or, sure. or a heat source, it would make such a big difference. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show this deco fireplace, okay? It, it's, it's a coffee table. So you leave it like that. Right? But and I saw this at IDS, and yeah. I loved it, because, the interior it's, design again, show. it's convertible, yeah. right? So you leave it like this, and you can use it as a coffee okay. table. I'm going to move around heat so we source. can see. Wait a minute. Here's the reveal. Yeah, if you if you need a heat source, this oh. comes off easily. That's nice. And you have a heat source. Now, it's still got a ledge that you can put things around. Yeah. Okay, what I love about this is it's lightweight concrete. So it's about 130, 140 pounds. So it's not very heavy. You can put it on the rooftop. Weight is not an issue. You can move it if you have to. Mm -hmm. And it's ready to go. You hook it up to either a propane tank yeah. or, uh, around the corner or underneath sure. your side table. Yes. Or you can actually pipe it into your uh, gas line and, and have it good. on. All right. right, so it's a great, great way to, um, to to heat a space. So when the top goes on, you can, do, and it's lightweight, you can have it as a as a coffee table. You can get something as simple These are as so this. So nice, yeah. So this is the Fuoco from Bloma. So you can get this at Amazon and. If you can't do this, get three or four of these on a coffee right. table or on your dining table. That's great. Right? It's a gel fuel. The flame comes out, just adds a little bit of radiant heat, mm -hmm. and it comes with this snuffer, and you just put it out, and it's done. 
Very right? cool. Very, very, very convertible too. and easy to yeah. use, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'll go on to lighting before I get on to more heating. And lighting, really, you saw that picture at the end. Lighting makes a space. It so sure does. So indirect lighting really makes it. You don't up want it to blind too. you. Yeah. Up lighting, down lighting, yeah. accenting arch architectural features, or even a light like this. So that's called the second light. That's from ARD as well. It's LED. It you know, changes colors, but you can also have it in white. Right. So, and it's meant for the outdoors, so you can easily use that. But what I found when I go to the trade shows, I went to Hospitality and Design in Las Vegas, and, and, and even to uh, KBiz and shows like that, Kitchen and Bath Show, the wireless remote battery operated lights are just getting prominent everywhere. So this is a battery powered light from Where's Zanine. the battery go? So it's underneath, you okay. charge it, yeah. okay? And it's called the mesh. All right. It's got three or four settings. Oh my God. So you can dim it. That's Put good. on a table, it's beautiful. Yeah. And it comes in a series, so you get actually a chandelier in it, you get a bollard, you get great. A wall sconces, and you can have a remote light on, on your tabletop as well. Uh -huh. And it's got a charger, USB charger, so you can charge your device if That's you need fantastic. to. That's right? yeah, fantastic. And then yeah, yeah. they've got this one here, which is the Ateria. And this is really and designed around an old lantern. But when you look at the quality of it, I love the quality. Yeah, sturdy. This one is corded. Uh -huh. And again, it's beautiful, but it's for the outdoors. So it's meant to sustain all the elements, and it looks beautiful. So you put it on a side table, and you have these beautiful lights that cast the light down. So Does it's it all do that? Indirect like, are we doing lighting. that right now or no? Will it do it? I don't I have know. it plugged in. Okay. But I can plug it in <laughs> while, while we chat, because now I'll run out. There you go. So you see what I mean? Aren't you glad I had to plug it in? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what you're thinking either. <laughs> this is kind of so, changing colors, yeah. is it? Am I right? This change, well, I, no, I think it's kind of. No, it's a change of colors? It's playing tricks pink? on your eyes. Your eyes are playing tricks on you. <laughs> it looks pink on TV. That's probably why on the, is on that the, why you're, on yeah. the monitor. Yeah. But it will okay. change colors. So let's, let's go back to this. heat, OK? Yeah, yeah. So fireplaces, if you can do them. The biggest challenge traditionally has been venting a fireplace. Even outdoor fireplaces yes. have vents, so getting the pipe. So you need a wall, and you need to get it through. Uh -huh. Well, not this Napoleon. It vents through the front. So I use these when I want a low partition. OK. And I want to maybe make a sitting area here and a dining area there, and I want to put that's a fireplace. And I'll do a division. Right. And you can oh, get a two-sided version, so you can have it open to the dining area, open to the sitting area. Yeah. And, and if you create a box and even tile right up to the flange, that's all you see. Yeah, and so it becomes really nice. a beautiful look. So a sure. fireplace is the greatest source of heat. Yeah. And again, it You're connects to the gas You're never going to want to go inside again. No. <laughs> that's the whole idea. The outside is a part of it. That's so of... furniture, again, this uh, is recycled resin. And I just like the fact that it's just got some character and art to it. So this can be a side table. It can be a bench. And then this peacock uh, planner. <laughs> It's a self-watering planner. This, I can put this in the front of my house. <laughs> Next to the chair. <laughs> on, only at Halloween. Oh, no, no. no, but this and is just so it's and a self -watering, fun. And, and, and it's recycled resin. And yeah. it comes in a clear where it changes. You can have a backlit one, an LED light well, That's one. That's very cool. Where's that from? This is from ARD okay. Outdoor as well. Okay. And then you've got heaters Jeez. like this. They, they, I, th I think some companies try too hard with outdoor heaters. I love the simplicity. Why, why do you love it so much? It's though? simple. It's yeah, a heater. Yeah. It's simple. It's not this I love. It's big, heavy thing. It's not big. Yeah, it's not like a big umbrella kind of thing. Which they need at restaurants. This Comes one, with a can, remote. Yeah, and you can see that it. it, it right. You can adjust infrared it. heater, yeah. so it heats your body, right. not the heat, the space. And it's got an anti-tip uh, switch, so if it tips, it shuts off automatically. Mm -hmm. And that's from Hauser. And then lastly, I want to show you. Um, you know, I think case, if you want to on your rooftop, <laughs> you want to take a shower. Well, I, I got to tell you, when you stand on my rooftop, you heat up because that sun is hot. Well, whenever it's out, it's never out. But yeah. when it's out, it gets hot. And, I, and, and I'm thinking of putting an outdoor shower just to cool off on so you don't have to come inside. On the top of the roof? Yes. Why not? I'm not going to get naked, for crying out loud. Hey, so did you see the naked guy on the rooftop? My neighbors. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> but they're cameras. Okay, oh, I love so these. So this yeah. is from Ruben A. It's yeah. from Taos Plus. And I love that it's got a thermostatic valve. Right. It, it pipes in from on the bottom. It's got a toe uh, tester here so you yeah. can actually wash your feet. And then it's got a rain head, 10-inch rain head. Is that head. something that you put like at a cottage or something? 100%. Yeah, yeah. Cottage. I did a cottage in Kenora, this beautiful yeah. cottage. Right. And I actually, off his master bathroom, I made an outdoor shower area. And it's all confined. So you go out there. There's a bench. There's shower heads. So he, he said to me, he said, I want to shower outside. And so we did. We did a whole outdoor shower for him. So it's like adjacent to his bathroom. It comes off and it's all contained. It's all got nice, beautiful fencing. So he walks in there. So he walks out the door. there's a bear out there. Yeah, no, no. You don't have to worry. You just kind of go backwards and go, no problem. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Ransom. <laughs> Fabulous. So much fun. 
Now, he is a lot of fun, and he does such great work. If you'd like Ramson's help with any of your home renos, send us your story and photos, and just go to Maryland.ca and uh, go, uh, click on Beyond the Show. And then this guy might show up we'll at your door. help you. <laughs> with some clothes on. He'll help yes. you. Yes. <laughs> take a break. We'll be right back. Coming up, Christine Cushing gets you into the entertaining mood with a Swedish-inspired party dish and chili treats to help you and the kids cool down. Don't miss it.